Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you guys? Thank you for joining. How are you? Everything okay? Tell me, how are you? Are you okay? Are you happy? Yes. Okay, teacher. Yes. Amazing. Okay, listen up. Hey, we're going to start with the class. But first, what I want to do is the following thing. I'm going to pass attendance. And remember, once you listen to your names, say present. Okay? Let's begin. Just give me a second. All right. Here we go. Latna Moncada. Present. Yes. Maria Veronica. Present teacher. Here, Edith Janet. Present teacher. Thanks. You know, with Chancy Castillo. Present teacher. Thanks. Alexis Flores. Present. Thank you. Ana Maria Hueso. Present. Thank you. Ana Janet. From here, yes. Uh, Jenny Sarai. Jenny Sarai. Present teacher. Thank you. William Ernesto. Present teacher. Thank you. Daniel Jeremias. Present teacher. Perfect. Ruth Elizabeth. Present teacher. Yeah, Ruth Milagro. Present teacher. Yes. Please, a big deal. Chris? Thank you, Luis. Walter Alfredo. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Rismar. Present. Thank you. Present. Thanks. Sonia Maldonado. Present teacher. Thank you. Jaime Humberto. Present. Very good. Thank you. Um, Sulma Janira. Present. Excellent. Gloria Ericella. Present. Good. Hey, D. Lisbeth. Present, teacher. Very good. Victor Adonai. Victor Adonai. Okay, he's not here yet. Um, with Gilma Elizabeth. Present teacher. I appreciate it. Thank you. Jocelyn Bonilla. Present teacher. Present you. teacher. Erika Jesenia. Present. You. Vilma Tatiana. Present. Thank you. Veronica Milagro. Veronica Milagro. I can see you, Veronica. Gerardo Chinchilla? Gerardo Chinchilla? Thank you, Gerardo. I can see you. Erika Marisol? Present teacher. Thanks. Marta Stephanie? Present teacher. Thank you. Carolina Marquez? Carolina Marquez. Right here. Okay, I can't mention now. Okay, tenemos candente a Ana Janet. Hello, Ana Janet. Are you mask? Can I mention now? Alguien que se me ha escapado. Hola, hola. Tengo problemas con el. Inter. Oh, okay. okay Buenas okay. noches. Good evening. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Okay. Bueno, no se preocupen. Creo que algunos van a tener, tenemos dificultades, ¿verdad? En algunas Gracias. partes, en algunas zonas está lloviendo probablemente. Eh, no se preocupen. Eh, estamos atentos. Cualquier cosa que avisemos. 
vamos a empezar. Eh, y no olviden pues que se va a estar subiendo en caso tengan dificultades con el audio o algún inconveniente, se va a estar subiendo, ¿verdad? La, la grabación, video al canal de YouTube. Ok, we're going to start, guys. One more time. Welcome, everybody. Good evening. We're going to begin with the session. This is class number four. Uh, I would like to know, guys, if you have any issues or have you had any issues with the platform? Hemos tenido algún problema, alguna dificultad con la plataforma? Thank you, Veronica Milado. Estamos bien en este momento con la plataforma. Y ahí iniciamos, por cierto, se les hizo el recordatorio igual ahora por, por mensaje, ¿verdad? Por WhatsApp, se los voy a estar haciendo siempre yo igual. Eh, de estar trabajando, ¿verdad? Avanzando en la plataforma. Espero que ya lo hayamos hecho. Recuerden que ya la semana pasada iniciamos. Pues ya deben de, eh, deberían de ir avanzando. Ya avanzado, ¿verdad? Ya se en la plataforma. Eh, si alguien no lo ha hecho, no ha empezado con la plataforma o, sea, o ha ingresado, te pido de favor que ingrese ¿eh? e, e inicie, por favor, en cuanto se le haga posible para ir avanzando, ¿verdad? porque ya eh, este día terminamos la semana 1. Recuerden que vamos de miércoles a martes y los miércoles vamos a estar iniciando la semana. Eh, las clases siempre son el lunes a jueves, ¿verdad? Y pues este día terminamos la semana 1. Eh, mañana iniciaríamos la semana 2. Pues ya vamos a ir avanzando, vamos a ir cambiando secciones, ¿verdad? Es que, por favor, eh, vayamos revisando, vayamos avanzando. Si hay algún problema, alguna dificultad, algún ejercicio, eh, ustedes solo me comentan. Lo pueden hacer directamente al grupo, a la consulta. Y no se les olvide siempre ser posible si pueden mandar una captura o simplemente solo decir que tal ejercicio o tal ejercicio de la sección 1.6, 2.4, 3.8, etc. Dependiendo de cuál sección se haga. Para ser más específicos y poder revisar y darles pues, soporte. Eh, bueno, el correo que se les, o el mensaje que se les envió, perdón, eh, hacía referencia a eso, a la plataforma, y decía... Bueno, la persona que envió ese, ese mensaje quería saber si la nos ayuda con respecto a la activación de la plataforma. Quisiera saber si todos ya ingresaron en la plataforma. Yes. ¿Hay alguien acá que no lo haya hecho todavía? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes. Yes, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Y si hay alguien que no lo ha hecho y ha tenido problemas, eh, de favor que, que, que nos avise lo antes posible esos días que estamos pues, iniciando básicamente eh, para poder eh, darle soporte, ayudarle y, y guiarlo ¿verdad? en ese caso para, para poder ingresar e iniciar con la plataforma. Creo que la mayoría ya inició con la plataforma, ¿verdad? Eh, de ser así, pues excelente, sigamos avanzando y practicando mucho más. Si hay alguna dificultad, repito, con algún ejercicio, eh, probablemente intentar en varias veces con diferentes refuerzos y que no han obtenido la, la respuesta correcta, ¿verdad? Eh, recuerden que estamos en la orden. ¿Ok? Así es que, sentarse libre en hacer sus consultas, sus preguntas, siempre. Estamos siempre acá en la orden. Ok. Bueno, si no hay más preguntas, no sé si hay preguntas. Cerca de la plataforma, cerca del módulo, ¿qué tal? Menciono lo siguiente nuevamente. Y recuerden, esta semana terminamos, la, ese día, perdón, terminamos la semana 1. Mañana damos inicio a la segunda. Seguimos miércoles y jueves, el viernes descansamos. Y la próxima semana, el lunes, les voy a, acá en clase, les voy a explicar eh, cómo está estructurado el meter. Porque recuerden que la próxima semana, el martes, tendríamos que hacer el meter. Que ya sería el examen de mitad de módulo, la segunda semana específicamente. Les voy a explicar eh, cómo se ha seccionado las, caso, las partes del, del meter, las instrucciones más que todo, vamos a verlas para que ustedes se vayan familiarizando con el meter, para estar listos 
previo al examen. Eso va a ser siempre la fila. Es que cualquier cosa, solo me dicen y hacerles el recordatorio que eso salga la próxima semana. ¿Ok? Para que ustedes se estén listos. Bueno, let's bring you guys. Let's get started. This is the topic for today. Have plus now. And we have feel as an adjective. I feel homesick. Today is Tuesday, July 20th, class number four. Moving now. Let's begin with this part. These are some illnesses. Illnesses, right? So we get, we have some different illnesses, right? When you are sick, you tend to have a headache, headache, a cold, a cough. Listen to the vocabulary first. These are illnesses. First, a cold, a cold, a cold, a cough, a cough, a cough, a fever, a fever, fever, a sore throat, a sore throat, a sore throat, a headache, a headache. Headache, headache, stomachache, a stomachache, stomachache, a toothache, a toothache, a toothache, a toothache, earache, an earache, an earache, an earache, an earache, and we have a cramp. A cramp, a cramp. Okay, this is in your leg. This is in your leg, right? A cramp, a cramp. Okay, so those are some illnesses. Illnesses. Let's go again. Listen to me and repeat. A cold, a cold, a cough, a cough, a cough. A fever, a fever, a sore throat, a sore throat, a sore throat, a headache, a headache, a headache, a stomachache, a stomachache, a toothache, a toothache, a toothache. An Eric, an Eric, an Eric, a gram, a gram, right? This is in your legs, a gram, a gram. Okay? Again, these are some, some illnesses that we, we get, right? When you're sick, you're sick. Any questions over here? Tell me. Any questions? And these are nouns, by the way, these are nouns. A cold, cough, Teacher. fever, so through. Yeah, tell me. Yeah. Can you repeat, please, uh, the um, stomach, stomachache? Yeah, stomachache. 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 Toothache, 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 an earache, an earache, an earache, an earache, a cramp, a cramp, a cramp, a cramp. Okay? Thank you. Anytime, anytime. Somebody else, questions? Else? Any questions? Yeah. What the differing uh, a tooth ache and Irish ache? 
Oh, yeah, okay, I'm sorry. Let me show you. Yeah, so when you say a toothache, toothache, this is in your teeth, in your teeth, right? An earache is like in here. But this is your ear, ear. It's not here, here. This is an earache, an earache. Okay. Same teacher. I'm sorry, it's because, it's because you ha I have the, the headphones. That, that's an earache, an earache. It's in your ear, your ear. Yeah, very good. Okay, listen again. I'm going to repeat the vocabulary because, yeah, someone is asking me um, about the, the words since it's Gloria. Listen, listen again. A cold, a cold, a cough, cough. A fever, a fever, a fever, a sore throat, a sore throat, a sore throat, a headache, headache, ache, ache, a headache, a headache, stomachache, 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 toothache, toothache. Toothache, toothache, an earache, an earache, an earache. And the last one is a cram, a cram, a cram. Okay? Make sense? Are we good? Are we good? Are we in? Yes, teacher. Thanks. You're welcome, Gloria. Okay, let's continue. Moving on to the following part. This is just a vocabulary. Illnesses, illnesses, illnesses. Headache, stomachache, a cold, a cough, fever, etc. Moving on to the following part. Let's continue with this. Remember, we are having this structure. Have Plus a noun. Have plus a noun. And we have feel. Feel plus an adjective. And we are expressing illnesses. Illnesses. Or we can express feelings or emotion. Emotion. Let me show you how. For example, let's begin with feel plus an adjective. When you're sick, or it depends on the emotion or feeling that you have, right? So you can say, I feel bad. I feel bad. So I'm here. So we have negative, negative adjectives. Negative adjectives. You can say, I feel Let's begin with this first. Feel plus an adjective. You say, I feel sad. I feel sad. Feel plus an adjective. Sad. Bad, horrible, awful, terrible, miserable. Miserable. Okay? For example, you can say, um, my father feels bad. My father feels bad. Okay? Those are negative adjectives. On the other hand, we have positive adjectives, right? You can say happy, good, fine, great, terrific, fantastic. I feel Happy, you feel fantastic. Uh, my mother feels great, okay? I feel fine. My mother feels terrific, terrific, okay? Positive and negative adjective. That is the combination that we make. Feel plus an adjective. That is the first one. OK? 
Okay. Subject. As we can see here, subject plus field plus an adjective. I feel sad. He feels good. And we feel terrible. Terrible. Okay. On the other hand, on the other hand, we have half, half plus a man. Half plus a man. Now is different. We have nouns. No adjectives. Nouns. In, when we say nouns, we are referring to illnesses or health problems. Health problems. We said before, headache, stomachache. Here we have more. The flu, the flu, stomach ache, a headache, a fever, a constipation, constipation, diarrhea, diarrhea, yeah, an eric, an eric, eric, backache, a backache, over here, right in your back, a backache, a toothache, a toothache, dry eyes. Dry eyes, a sore throat, a sore throat, a cold, a cold, right? This is a word. Now you, it's different. So you have you have a a half, and you have a noun, half, and a noun. So you can say, I have, I have. Headache. I have headache. I have headache. I have a headache. Maybe we just headache or you can say a headache. I have a headache. If my sister has a fever. Fever, or you can say just fever. Okay? But now we have subjects. Math. As a noun, so in this case, the noun is a problem, it's an illness. We have the flu, we have the flu, okay? Half plus a noun, so in this case, it's an illness or a health problem, a problem that you have, right, in your organism, okay? For example, we can make this combination. We can say, I have a Headache. Have a headache. I feel terrible. This is a combination that you can make. I have a headache. I feel terrible. I feel terrible. Another combination can be he has um, stomach ache. Stomach ache. He feels feels awful, 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 okay? So you can combine, you can combine, you can express a first a problem or an illness, and then you can express how you feel, how you feel, right? This is the way we structure the two form. Feel plus an adjective, and have plus a noun. Any questions over here, guys? Tell me. Questions? No? Is everything clear? No, pregunta, teacher. Yeah, tell me. Son para los negativos, dijo. Eh, which one, sorry? Which ones? I feel sad. Un ejemplo. Para oh. Va a ser siempre feel. Eh, it depends. For example, if you say, eh, I don't know, probably you, you, you took some medicine or you take medicine and you can say, I don't, negative, I don't have a headache, headache, but now you can say, I feel, I feel good, I feel good, but this is the contrast, 
I don't have a headache, it's because I take medicine. I took medicine. I took an aspirin, for example. I don't have a headache. I feel good. I feel good. Or, or it can be in this way. I have a headache. I have a headache. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. Thank you. Anytime. Anytime. But in this case, you can vary. You can vary. Um, good question, Edith. What is the difference between ache, ache, and pain? Well, most of the times we use a uh, ache with with these forms, right? Like headache, stomach ache, stomach ache. You say uh, toothache, toothache, etc. A pain is similar. In some cases, we say body pain. Body pain. Body pain. Not the cuerpo, right? Body pain. But they are similar. They are similar. The, I would say the most, probably the difference that we can identify here is that with these forms, with the illnesses, we use ache. Ache. Okay. We don't, we don't say, uh, in some cases, people say head pain, right? But it's not common. We use headache. Headache, stomach pain, toothache. You want to say in general, like, over the cuerpo, right? You say body pain. Body pain. But they are similar. They are similar. Okay. Okay. You will can do it anytime. Anybody else? Any questions? Teacher. Yeah, tell me. Hey. Hello, hello. Una pregunta. En fin, en fin, solo ahí lleva la S. Fields. Fields. Oh, yeah, good question. Yeah, in this case, it's because when you use a simple present, the simple present tense with the third person singular, which is he, she, and it, you use those forms. You include S in the verb, S or IES, including esas formas en los verbos, específicamente con la tercera persona. So that's why you say she feels good. Can say he feels bad. My mother feels fine. So we include S because that is the role of the simple present. For regla en ese caso, el simple present, la tercera persona, preposición singular, he, she, or it, we use these forms. And with the other forms, I, you, we and they will say just feel in base form. Base form. Okay. Does it make Thank sense? You. You're welcome. You're welcome. Any questions? Somebody else? No, everything clear? All bien? Yes, all bien. Excellent, excellent, thank you. Okay, moving on. Let me give you some examples. Remember, we use have as a noun or feel as an adjective to talk about our physical or mental condition. Okay, we talk about our physical condition physical condition and our mental condition, right? So we use it, have plus a noun, feel plus an attitude, okay? Let me give you some examples. We can say, he has a headache, has a headache, 
and we can say feels terrific, terrific. Okay, and like I said before, we can make these combinations. We can say, I have a headache, I feel terrible, I feel terrible. You can say, he has a stomachache, he feels awful, he feels awful, he feels awful. Okay, or we can say, I have a headache. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I don't have a headache. That's the opposite, let's say, I'm talking about the form. I don't have a headache. I feel good. When you say, I don't have a headache. I don't have a headache. Um, it is because uh, you took medicine, took medicine, and now you feel good, I feel good, okay? You took an aspirin, you took ibuprofen, etc. okay? Again, we use have plus a noun or feel plus an adjective to talk about our physical or mental condition, okay? Any questions over here, guys? No? no. Okay. Listen, what I want to do right now, I need you to write in your notebook two examples similar to these ones. Okay, write uh, two sentences by expressing physical, physical or mental condition. Please, in your notebooks, write two examples similar to this ones, similar to this ones. Let's go, and then I'm going to listen to you. For examples, in your notebooks, let's go. Vamos a poner dos ejemplos, similar to this one. You can include uh, yourself, or you can include your, I don't know, your family members, you can include your friends, etc. I need you to make these combinations. Okay, I feel terrible. As a stomach cake, it feels awful. Let's go. Are you ready? Any participants? Jaime, very good. Can you help us please, Jaime? I have a backache. I feel stressful. Yes, very good. He has a uh, short eyes. Yeah. He feels sick. Exactly. Very good. Thank you so much, I mean, for the examples. All right. I think, Jansi, you switch on the microphone. You can send us a microphone. 
And please don't lower your hands. Yes, no teacher. No vemos la mano los que levanten la mano. Yes, yeah, sorry. Uh, excuse me, teacher. I have a question. Uh, oh, how yeah, do yeah, you sorry. say uh, dolor de manos? Oh, you can say, uh, let me see. You can say uh, a hand pain. Hand pain. It can be like that, hand pain. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Nancy, you're welcome. Ana Maria, please, can you help us with examples? Fernando Don's feels good. He has a fever. Vicky feels sick. She has a cold. Okay. Very good. Can you repeat it for me, Ana Maria? Cold. Cold. Cool. Thank you. Belly Jeremias, please, can you help us? I have a toothache, but I feel terrible. I don't have a fever, so I feel great. Okay, yeah, thank you. All right, let's go with Sulma. I have a constipation, I feel terrible. Yeah. She has a fever. She feels bad. Yes. Very good. Thank you. William, let's listen to you. Thank you. Yeah. Charlie is sick. He has a flu. Pedro win a lottery. He feels very happy. Yeah. Very good. Thank you. See in the chat if someone share. Oh, Gloria, very good. All right. Yeah. Okay. Let me let me let me tell you. Uh, Gloria is asking for dolor de espalda. How do you say dolor de espalda? You say backache. Backache. Okay. And he's asking me about what was the other one? Sorry. Oh, dolor de cuello. For the query, you can say, um, you can say, Gloria, neck pain, neck pain, backache and neck pain, right? That is the way. Okay, somebody else, another participant? Me, teacher. Yeah, please, give us a hand, Nancy. I have a dry ace, ice, I feel terrible. I have a hand pain. I feel bad. Yeah. It, just with the first one, Jancy. When you say, okay. I have a dry eyes. Okay. Yeah. In that case, you say, I have just dry, dry eyes. You don't say, ah, ah. or a. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Because it's plural. I have dry eyes. Dry ah. eyes. Yeah. Plural. It's plural for us. We cannot say ah to our eyes. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay. You will done, Gloria. All right, somebody else? Another participant? Walter, very good. Thank Hi, teacher. You. Let's go. Okay. Uh, well, I have the flu. I feel a bad salon. Um, my brother has body pain. He feels terrific. 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 Repeat again. Repeat again, number two. My brother has body pain. He feels terrific. Terrific. Okay. When you say terrific, be careful because terrific is a positive adjective. Terrific mm -hmm. is similar to fantastic, etc. Terrific is similar to fantastic. Okay. What you can what you can do what you can say, terrible. Walter, terrible. Yeah. Okay. My brother, my brother has a what was a, a problem? Has. What was the problem? What was the problem? Body pain. Oh, body pain. Yeah. Body pain. He feels feel terrible. 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 Okay. Because terrific, terrific, you're welcome, equals 
fantastic. So this is a positive, positive adjective. Yeah. Pretty good, brother. Walter, I appreciate. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, Doctor, please help us. Um, she has neck pain. She feels terrific. Terrible. 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 <laughs> yeah, you say she has neck pain. She feels yes. terrible. She feels terrible. Not terrific because terrific is terrible. positive. Terrible. terrible. Thank you. You're welcome. And the second one, Dagna, sorry, number two. Oh, number two, L last one, number two. Oh. But just one, uh, you have just one. Oh. Okay, number one. Um, get over. Um, he has a stomach ache. Yeah. He feels sad. Yeah, excellent. Thank you, Dagna. I appreciate your participation. E and it is asking in the chat constipation. Yeah, constipation is estreñimiento. That is constipation. Very good. Uh, well, this is. We're going to move on to the following form. Okay. And we continue with the following conversation. I'm going to show you a conversation, an example of a conversation. And we are going to practice this. <clears throat> Sorry, this stop, right? Just give me a second. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I have a cough. I have a cough. Okay, let's continue with the conversation. Listen, what I want to do, I need you to look at the conversation, Sean. I'm going to listen to it, and we will practice with our classmates. This is an example of a real life setting. Listen, this is current conversation. This is between Fernando and Sara, right? What I want to do first, I need you to pay attention to this conversation, this real setting, right? And then we're going to role play this conversation. We're going to simulate, right? The same conversation, but we're going to change our information, right? This in first, this is between Fernando and Sara. Say this, okay? Let's go on the camera three. One, two, three. How do you feel today, Sara? I feel great. Thanks. What about you, Fernando? I feel terrible. I have a stomach cave. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you feel better. Thanks a lot. Okay. I'm going to select someone in the participants. Um, let me see. Can you give me a hand? Carolina Marquez. Hello. Okay, Carolina, you're, you and I are going to perform the conversation. You will be Sara. You'll be Sara, Carolina, and I'm going to be Fernando. Okay. Let's go on the camera three. Guys, listen to us. Okay, listen to us. One, two, three. How do you feel today, Carolina? I feel great. Thanks. What about you? I feel terrible. I have a stomach ache. 
I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you feel better. Thanks a lot. Very good, thank you. Well, listen, what do we have to do? I'm going to start selecting different participants. Please don't lower your hand. No, I want to we're going to listen to you. We're going to perform a new conversation. So you have to follow this one, have to follow this one, but now you have to change your information, right? Listen again, it says, how do you feel today? Can you say the name, right? It could be, I don't know, Jaime, Erika, et cetera, okay? I feel good. Thanks. What about you, Fernando? Or what about you, eh, Ruth? What about you, Daniel? I feel bad. I have a headache. I'm sorry to hear that. How do you feel better? Thanks a lot. That's what you have to do. We're going to practice here with this following conversation. And now we need to change the information. Of course, you're going to use your real name. Most of these are, most of these are for that. Okay. okay. And we're going to start with participants. I'm going to go first. I want to go to the other hand, please. We have a lot of participants. Go to the other hand, please. Okay, I'm going to go first with Walter in Dagna. You're going to help me with the conversation. You're going to use your own information, okay? Walter, you're going to start with the conversation. Okay? And that nice going to continue. It's going to only come at three. Right? Okay. How do you feel today, Dagna? I feel great. Great, thank you. What about you, Fernando? I feel good. I have um, um, a stomach ache. A stomach ache, OK. I have a stomach ache, yeah, yeah. OK. I have a stomach ache. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you feel better. Thanks a lot. Yes, very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. In your case, Walter, uh, just remember, in this case, when you say, I feel, say a negative adjective. Because you have a, I have a stomach here, right? I have a stomach here. You can include a negative adjective. For example, you can say, I, I feel uh, bad. Mm -hmm. I feel horrible. Okay. I have a stomach here. Yes? Similar to the previous one, right? The previous example. I feel terrible. I have a stomach here. Okay? Very good. Thank you, Walter. And that. Okay, thank you. I will continue with Jaime and Daniel Jeremias. I could see that Jaime, okay? No, I was around, no, please. Lo levantamos, mantengamos ahí. Okay, I will go with Daniel and Jaime. Then I will have Veronica Duran and Ana Maria. Okay, um, let me see. Daniel, you're going to start with the conversation. Jaime, you will continue. Okay, so in this case, Daniel, you will be Fernando, and Jaime, you will be Sad. Let's go on a camera three. One, two, three. How do you feel today, Jaime? Oh, I feel, uh, <laughs> I feel happy, thanks. What about you, Daniel? I feel uh, great. I have a great day. Uh, uh, I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> How do you feel? Yeah. Better? <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Thanks a lot, Amy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. Very good. You're changing the conversation. I'm sorry? Maestro, lo que pasa es que cuando me dijo que se sentía bien, no había como decirle, o espero que sigas igual o mejor, no, no sé. O sea, por eso no pude reemplazar el better por ojalá que sigas. Igual, como pudiera decir. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, well, it, Daniel said, I feel right. like music. nice, right? Nice, pretty good. I have a great day. Day. Good. So then, 
Then Jaime said, eh, I'm happy, I'm happy to hear that. And then you can say, uh, what, what do you say, sorry? La última que me dijo. Espero sigas este, igual. Espero sigas igual. Okay, you can say, um, hope you feel uh, you feel the same, probably. You feel the same. Hope you feel the yeah. same. Think of me that way. Entonces esto de... I'm sorry? Yo dije, I feel great. Entonces no podría estar repitiendo great. Porque, o sea, dije, I feel great. Y la siguiente oración dije, I have, I have a great day. No podría entonces, igual que en el español, estar repitiendo el mismo. In, you, you can, but, you know, if you want to avoid repetition, mm -hmm. no, it's, much, it's much better. Exactly. Exactly. Pero siento. Okay. Exactly. Thanks. You're welcome. Sí, en español, al igual que en español, en inglés, eh, se evita la repetición, ¿verdad? Por eso uh, hay diferentes eh, sinónimos so, o diferentes feel... expresiones para poder pagar un enlace pesado. Mm -hmm. For example, good equals great, nice, fine, etc. So you can vary. You can vary the, the adjectives How and they express the same, right? Very good. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Thanks, teacher. Okay, well, yeah, I can see. Yeah. Uh, we, we go until Thursday. Recuerden que vamos lunes a jueves. Básicamente es lunes a jueves. Clases. Por general, el horario. Eh, como les decía en las clases anteriores, en las clases, eh, las semanas van de miércoles a martes. Es decir, más una semana, son cuatro días a la semana, ¿verdad? Cuatro clases, vamos de miércoles a martes. Entonces ya terminamos la semana uno, mañana empezamos la semana dos. Vamos con dos clases más hasta el jueves y el viernes sucede descanso, ¿verdad? No hay clases. Hasta el próximo lunes. Vemos con la clase 3 y la clase 4 de la semana 2. Es como vamos. Ya. Yeah. Alguien está Teacher. Ya. Yeah. Teacher, es con respecto a los certificados. Yo recibí un mensaje. Oh, que es, I'm sorry. Un paréntesis. Es que un yeah. hasta el jueves es el último día. Perfecto, sorry. No me había fijado el mensaje que había puesto William. No problema. Perdón. Okay, sí, están preguntando por el certificado, ¿no? Bueno, gracias por confirmar. El caso de Jancy, thank you. ¿Las jueves tienen para recoger su certificado? Recuerden que se les informa, ¿verdad? Acerca del certificado. Ese certificado ustedes lo, lo, lo van a recoger, es en físico. Se les en físico, así que ellos, eh, en el caso de las autoridades de inglés cooperativo, les informan, ¿verdad? ¿Qué días eh, deben ustedes de acercarse? Hay una fechas, fechas específicas, podría, en las cuales ustedes van a recoger su certificado a las instalaciones de inglés cooperativo. ¿Sí? Eh, con respecto a esto del certificado, um, a mí me parece la fecha errónea. Creo que dice 20, jueves 21 y ese sería jueves 22. Entonces, ¿es hasta mañana que está la fecha límite para ir a recogerlo o es jueves 22? Porque así me cayó el mensaje. Hmm. Buena pregunta. Bueno, ahora somos 20. ¿Qué mm. fecha le cayó, papá? Me decía que el límite era jueves 22. Y mañana es 22. Ve, eh, no, hoy, hoy es 20. Perdón, jueves 21, me decía. Ah, jueves 21. A veces se equivocaron. Uh -huh. Pero si... Bueno, ya me... Cierto, ya nos confundimos. <ríe> y o sea, bueno, ¿tima? el mensaje decía que la fecha límite era jueves 21, pero el jueves es 22. Sí, sí. Entonces, lo que yo quiero saber es si es entonces mañana la fecha límite, porque mañana sería 21, o sería jueves la fecha límite. Sí, y el bueno. 21 fue el erróneo. ¿verdad? Buena pregunta. Eh, bueno, yo creería que es, es el jueves. Ahí solo el error fue la fecha, bueno, 21, porque es 22. Eh, no. Voy a, si gustan, puedo consultar para eso, para estar más seguro, ¿verdad? Para ver si es que esta mañana, probablemente se quedó en el día. Dígame. 
eh, y cuando, cuando le dan el certificado a uno, le toman una foto también, entregándole el certificado. Oye, oh, ya, yeah, yeah. también, yeah. también. Exacto. Gracias por clarificar y por compartir acá. ¿verdad? Bueno, ese, al, al inicio del módulo parece que pregunté si alguien era nuevo acá. Sí, no me recuerdo si alguien dijo que era nuevo acá, que se unían a ese módulo específicamente, o todos ya venían desde módulos anteriores. Básico 1, B51, creo que la mayoría, ¿verdad? Ya es, vienen de módulos sí. anteriores. Pero digo eso por si, por si alguien, pues, bueno, en ese caso, pues, obviamente, si se ha unido para ese, para ese módulo, eh, a la espera de recibir ese certificado, ¿verdad? Pero igual, no está mal mencionarlo para que se, en ese caso, familiarizado con, con esa información, ¿verdad? Así es que no está mal compartirlo. Ok, thank you. Thank you so much. And I'm going to ask about the, the date, right? If it is tomorrow or this coming Thursday. Thank you. All right. I will continue with Veronica. I listen. I, I saw Veronica, Veronica Duran, and I will go with Ana Maria with the conversation. Uh, let me see. Ana Maria, you're going to begin with the conversation. It will be Fernando. Fernando, just, Fernando okay. And Veronica Duran, you will be Sarah. One, okay. two, three. How do you feel today, Veronica? I feel good, thanks. What about you, uh, Ana I, Maria? I feel sick. I have body pain. I'm sorry. Ana Maria, I'm sorry to, he to hear that. Hope you feel better. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. That was a nice conversation. Okay. Now that we listen to Ana Maria and Veronica, I will go with Gerardo and Ruth Elizabeth. Give me next one of yours. Okay. Listen. Um, Ruth Elizabeth, you're going to begin. You will be Fernando. Gerardo, you will be Sarah. Okay. Those are the roles that you have to take. Let's go on the camera three. One, two, three. Let's go. How do you feel today, Gerardo? 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 It's not here. <laughs> Everything okay, Gerardo? Well, I can see, I can notice that he has the microphone on. I don't know if he's speaking. Creo que tiene el micrófono encendido. Probablemente tiene algún problema ahorita. Gerardo, ¿me escucha? ¿Me hear me? ¿Me hear me, Gerardo? ¿Me escucha? Yes, uh, you can listen. Okay, I can hear you now. Very good. Let's begin again, okay. no problem. Uh, again, Ruth, Elizabeth, you are Fernando, and Gerardo, you are Sara. Let's go on the camera for you. One, two, three. How do you feel today, Gerardo? I feel happy. Uh, thanks. What about you, Elizabeth? I feel bad. I have a stomachache. Oh, I am sorry to hear that. Hope you feel better. Thanks a lot. Excellent. That's a nice job. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to select more volunteers. I want to listen to Alexis. And I will listen to Erika Marisol. Let's go to you. Erika Marisol, you, you will begin. You will be Fernando in this case. And Alexis will be Sarah. Those are the roles that you have to take. Let's go. Of course, you have to oh. use your names. Let's go, Erika, sorry. How do you feel today, Alexis? I feel good. I feel amazing, fantastic. I feel fantastic. Thank you. What about you, Fernand?
I feel bad. I have a cold. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you felt better. Thanks a lot. Excellent, thank you. Let's go with one more, two more participants. Okay, I'm going to select Ruby Lagro, and I will listen to uh, Marta, Marta Stephanie. Ruby Lagro and Marta Stephanie. Ruth, Milagro, you're going to start. You'll be Fernando. Marta, you'll be Sarah. Are you ready? Um, a mí me dijo Fernando, ¿verdad? Eh, Ruth, Milagro, right? How do you feel today? Marta. Marta? Yeah. Hello, Marta. Thank you, Marta. Yes, hey, I feel fine, thanks. What about you? Um... Ruth. 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 Yeah. I feel that I have uh, a fever. I am sorry to hear that. Hope you feel better. Thanks a lot. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Let's go with the last participants. Okay. I'm going to go with Tulma. And I will select, um, let me see who else. I want to listen to Jose Ismar. Jose and Tulma. Let's see, um, Jose, you're going to start. You will be Fernando, and Suma, you will be Sara. Let's go on the camera three. One, two, three. Let's go. Uh, how do you feel today? Suma. <laughs> Suma. Yeah. I feel fantastic. Thanks. What about you, Bismar? I feel very good. Thanks for us. Oh, great. Uh, I am very happy. Uh, Hear that. Yes, no. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> it's so good um, that you. No sé, no sé qué <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you, you can say, it's okay. You say, uh, I'm, I'm very happy to hear that. You can say, for example, um, as you said, I'm very happy, very happy to hear that. To hear that. Hope you could have a great time. You can send this way. Yeah. I'm very happy to hear that. I hope you could have a great time. I'm Again. very happy. I'm very happy to hear that. Hope you could have a great time. Yes. Great, thank you. You too. Okay. Perfect, you too, excellent. Okay, well, um, any doubts, any comments over here, guys? Any questions? Is everything okay? Everything clear? Yes? My mm -hmm. We're going to, to, share. We're going to stop. Clear. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate. We're going to start right here, guys, because it's time. Um, but I want to know first if you have any questions. And of course, I would like to, to clarify my doubts. Okay, everybody. Um, let's see. Well, um, just remember, in case you have some doubts or some questions about the, the platform, you can ask me, you can consult me. And of course, I'm going to give you a hand, right? Pasa de sabide, quer cosa, necesiten, preguntas, dudas, acerca de la plataforma, no se nos olvide seguir trabajando. No se los voy a repetir siempre, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes estén atentos y podamos seguir, ¿verdad? Practicando mucho más. ¿Qué cosas vamos a hacer la orden? 
couple of minutes, okay? Well, everybody, thank you so much again for your time. Appreciate. Have a good night. Blessings. Many blessings to you and your families. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Good night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Come to you.